It's a nice, cool, clear morning. Whoo wee. Yeah, it's like brisk out here. Brisk out here. I mean, I've got like the, the patrolman's jacket on with the, 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 those military fleeces, those lower quality ones, you know, that are just like super puffy. They like the, the length of the arms is all wrong, you know, it's like really, it's cut all funny. But it was like made by like a bunch of people in like some kind of like home or something. It said on the piece of paper. So I kind of was like, oh, well, that's nice. And it was, they weren't, they, they came three in a pack. They weren't very expensive. So they'll probably last me forever. So we're not meant to be fashionable. But that's, that's really one of those things I think about. I remember when fleeces first came out and they were like turquoise and like purple. Like you could not find one that wasn't a mix of colors that just made you like, what? What is this supposed to, what happened here? Like where it really was like this mix of colors that you were just like, this isn't even a mix that you could see like saffron and burgundy or something, you know, like Tibet, you know, you could see some kind of style, some, you know, something going on with it, but no, no, it was like, purple and turquoise <laughs> that, was, that was a long time ago for those you know some of you are like that was like way back like that was like the 90s bro but yeah fleece Look. and then eventually had yeah, old navy old navy old navy performance fleece <laughs> oh my old man mind my old man brain as it just starts to get some coffee in it and it's warming up <laughs> I was gonna as I was gonna try to cut through this phenomena um, okay the uh, Scott Adams thing this can't be fixed if it's not okay to be white then this can't be fixed um, then the, the the correct she was correct uh, and and this is that, that Ann Coulter informed everyone of what everyone knows. This is like the weirdest thing of how people like Bill Maher are supposed to be like guys who are like know the people and they know things. And he didn't know that this is a normal thing said on Twitter, on all social media. Everybody in social media knows if they aren't saying who did the crime, it is most likely black males <laughs> or Muslims. If it's Britain, it's, Mu it's Pakistani Muslims or Africans. It's, it's, it means it's non-whites. If they're not saying, if they're going out of their way, um, it's, it's the, 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 the perpetrator of the crime is non-white. Now, for some reason, white men who, uh, are mentally ill and like wearing dresses and and usually are on drugs that are going to permanently fuck their uh, brains and nervous system and muscular system and ten, ten no, tendon no lig ligament system up uh, it, 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 these guys too if they suddenly snap and start committing crime that that everybody in the world will try to do anything they can to not report it uh, obfuscate, obfuscate, <coughs> uh, obfuscate the, uh, and, and not talk about what the, how, what, what, what you would have seen if you saw the subject, you know, you saw the perpetrator, what, what, who, what would they look like? Who are they? So, ooh, big graffiti. Let's see what you do. what do you do, big graffiti? Graffiti people. Danae loves aqua. Poor Vida. And actually, gotta admit, so for those of you who would know, that's actually not a bad spray tip. I'm actually curious. That's a tip, yeah. That was the tip. They cut their, they, whatever they did to cut it to make it do that. I've only seen that a handful of times it cut that well. That the spray paint comes out 
and it comes out at an angle so it actually looks like calligraphy. You know, it looks like a calligraphy pen. Or if you're writing with a flat head marker like a Sakura uh, SG7 or something like that. So, anyway. <laughs> Donovan, how do you... Do? Anyway, so as I was saying <laughs> about Ann Coulter... Um, so this is well known across social media, has been for years. I've been off Twitter for at least a year or two. Um, yeah, I think, yeah, I've been off for at least a year or two now. So it's, uh, th th that was normal for years on Twitter that people would just be like, oh, they're not saying who it is. What's your guess? You know, Muslim, they'd run a poll, you know, <laughs> Muslim black, black African Muslim, you know, um, it, it, woman POC, you know, and, and in that, so it, it's, there's no way back from this. We're, we're just edging closer to, uh, what's that guy? Who is that? That is an Italian American boxer. I want to say Marciano. And he would just keep creeping up on you and creeping up on you, and creeping up on you, and hammering, and hammering, and hammering, this slow creep. Well, this is the kind of thing, it's, uh, that, that, uh, Dempsey, might have been Dempsey, actually, I'm thinking, that's not, yeah, he, he's Irishman, right? I don't know. Um, but, this is gonna be bad. People, this is one of these where I actually, I just saw it, yeah, this is one where people who are like your former military, you are in law enforcement. This is going to be ugly because more and more we're starting to see real psychopaths in political office and that they'll get away with things for extremely long periods of time before any law enforcement authority will stop them. Like that one, uh, the super mayor in Illinois. All you need is the right environment of chaos and corruption. And you're going to start getting these, like, crazy things like the fucking, um... Oh, was it the Rajnichis here in, uh, Oregon? Trying to poison a bunch of people at one time. See, this is the reason... This is something that I thought... I found it rather interesting that when I... Intru when, like, I told this one dude about the Rajnichis that it was he he was such like this sort of anti everything punk rock mind but it was just one of these people who I'm like okay but in the world of in the world of anti everything like you would be food like it wouldn't be funny like bad guys would do horrible things to you like, you should be very glad that they're, that, you know, you could listen to your punk rock in peace. Like, you know, it's just like that. But he was, like, just so determined. He was so set on chaos world that when people, when, when it got to the part of the story that the, the Rajneeshis were were people were starting to do something about the Rajneeshis, he was really upset about it. He was upset that the that they were because the Rajneeshis eventually tried to poison the water supply of the Dallas. He, in some way, shape, or form, had some issue with people having an issue with that. Now, I didn't know at the time. That's that's how you know you're dealing with somebody who's kind of a psychopath. You know that they they've got some serious psychopathy going on. Um, why are you mad? That why are you mad that they like poison them? They're only like Christians who are living there and like living there and like tolerant of these weirdos moving in and like tolerant and like. Oh my God, they were existing while white, you know, and I mean, you just, 
So I started to really like, I, you know, he was one of these people who I think back on now and then. Where I'm like, yeah, you know, droll, ugly, um, the absolute mid, you know, just four to five on his, you know, if he had, if he had actually tried to become kind of a handsome dude, he would be a solid five, six if he had really gotten his uh, weight under, you know, he had real command of, of how to get his shoulders set right in a, in a shirt. Did some upper body work, did some leg work, you know, he's one of these guys who, like, you see him a lot here, there's, they, they, they actually are, they're leg work guys, that you're like, dude, no, you could lift a fucking car with those things, you should just, you just need to start doing something, you know, but, <laughs> You can jump over a fucking building, bro. What, how are you stretching a pair of Doc Martens with your calves? Like, what the fuck, <laughs> you know? Um, and so there's some people that, you know, it just, I, I, I had to mark in time that really made me, like, just start understanding. Like, no, they're, they're, remember that. Because that's there's something uniquely very wrong with this person. That also is characteristic of something going on with people his age. And so I just sort of, you know, filed it away as the years went on. But now, there's, there's just no way around this. Is that there's, there's these people that it, it really is a pathology of their thinking. That there's this sort of, that there's these people who... They, as if they conspire in the churches against, the, like, women and ethnic minorities or something crazy like that. Um, they've become somehow the heroes in their minds of everything. Every story somehow becomes that they were actually, like, in, they've inherited the, the uh, they've inherited the bold mission of, of, you know, all civil rights uh, people and all this stuff. And, and it, I lo really like that, you know, none of, nobody really quotes, you know, no, none of these people on the left quote Malcolm X much. This is also why this won't go, this won't be good. Oh, check it out. So when I get to uh, take my walks, that the geese will uh, sometimes be doing this thing where they'll fly around this one specific uh, part of the, uh, the this one specific field. It's really awesome. I'll, we might, maybe possibly, as I'm walking, we'll see them all assembled on the field doing their thing. So um, this was something that. I, I had kind of remembered and, and kind of forgot that um, came up around the time it was DJ Vlad was um, interviewing Lord Jamar about the 5% nation and their view of BLM. And Lord Jamar, as I, to some of you know, I, had, I had brought this up before, Lord Jamar was pointing out um, this is not our movement. This is their movement. And, uh, what do you mean? Da, da. So what he was getting at is that it was fundamentally a movement of LGBT people. And, uh, that it was phony. It was just, it just had blackface on. And, uh, it was just dressed in a, in a starter jacket. And, uh, and, and it had nothing to do with the 5% nation and that they, they made no, they, they did nothing to approach the 5%ers. In the long run, I'm thinking, you know, it's the same. We're going to find out that with the Nation of Islam, you know, that, that none of these people ever approached them and really, you know, like, is there something that we all can do with this money that might be coming our way to better... You know, to, what, what would be the first things we could, you know, anything. No. It did not happen. I, I can almost guarantee it. None of them figured out something to do 
good with the money that was helping a local black community. Um, and it was probably never broached. So something that th this needs to be gathered from like kind of black men, the pro blacks need to understand this. The university blacks are this, this thing coming out of the universities. They, they, they just need to wear you like a bulletproof vest. That's what you are. The nation of Islam. They, they, you see, no one can do it with the 5% nation because the 5% nation is too ill. They're too ill. People can't, you can't, they can't, you can't, you can't put on, can't put on that armor. Can't put on that armor. Too ill. You know, and every once in a while, you know, you'll see some 5%, you know, associated or person like that come out and advocate for something that it's like, oh, don't get bamboozled by them. You know, but overall, they're too ill to get caught slipping. <coughs> so, there's a divide, therefore, with the Gen X black males, uh, black students of the present generation who are in universities and a lot of these activist types, especially the ones who are focusing uh, tremendously on and, and with, you know, a totally bizarre fetishization of um, black sexual people, <laughs> the, the, the sex people. Uh, the gender sexuals who happen to be black. Um, there's too much of a division there. There, there. there won't be any united front of political, like, anything at all. It won't be there at all. Um, yeah, there's nothing there. There's, there's just very, very much nothing there. And then you have... People like with Ann Coulter, and who there's too many. She she just really made it very clear to everybody, like it, that when Bill Maher's like, "Oh, you have a special power." Yeah, pattern recognition. You see, boom, that would have been the line right there if she goes, it's "Call it pattern recognition, Bill." Boom. It would have been like gangster sunglasses. Na -na -na -na. You know, and and because that's what's up. You know, that's what's fucking up. And Bill Maher wants to pretend like he's got some ear to the ground about something, anything at all. And it's like, bro, you don't know that everyone knows this? That the media's been doing this for over a decade? That the reason why Trump... One of the key reasons Trump got elected is because the media kept covering up all of the black American youth violence that was starting to suddenly increase during the end of the Obama tenure in all of these various exurbs and suburbs that had just never known anything like this before. These were people who, they, they were never, they, they were like, oh yeah, you know, let's have lots of bus lines going from the main city out here so that people could come out to the mall and, you know, yeah, because that's great. It's great to have more people do more things. Oh, no, the black kids are destroying things. Why? You know, and, you know, and, and that's, and of course, and it really, they don't know why. They have no idea why these politically moderate people who are politically moderate, they were politically modern. Their kids who were in school at the time or were just old enough to start witnessing this massive change in things started to come to a new understanding. And that's when you start to see people submit, make submissions to uh, the alternativeright.blogspot.com. <laughs> All those years ago and a lot of other outlets that people didn't really want to, uh, the, that people just didn't know about because nobody really knows what the right was talking about. Nobody who's not on the right really knows what the right was talking about. And the right was citing 
stuff that really happened. Especially really brutal crime. Really horrible, brutal crime that only the most sadistic and psychotic people would do and that it keeps being this thing of there's this pretend world that that's a white dude thing. There's the real world where no, that is something that has something to do with people with African descent. And there's no, there, there's, there's no fixing this. And, and the Democrats, it, it, won't, it, won't, it doesn't matter. The progressives, the leftists, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. You don't have anything backing you. You don't really have an army backing you. As soon as you can't pay your mercenary mascots, they'll turn on you in an instant and tear you to pieces. The moment you can't give them what they want, the right is fighting for principle. And that if those principles are employed, they themselves will have a, a, a good, solid gain in life. But without such uh, principles being employed, it, it's just, they're, they're just dealing with chaos. And it just gets worse all the time. And eventually it'll be what I just described. You, you'll turn on your mascots, you will disappoint your mascots, and your mascots will then tear you to pieces, as you're seeing in, in already in places like New York and Chicago, because you treat people like mascots. So um, it, it, it can't be fixed. And uh, there's just going to be large areas that it's just chaos is simply just not fucking tolerated. <laughs> Being a chaotic criminal piece of shit, you're just not allowed to do that there. And, uh, and, and those places are going to be better places to live. More and more men who really kind of want a future, they'll, they, and just, they'll just be normal guys will end up there because they're like why would I want to live in chaos land there's no jobs might as well go to a place that some semblance of order and therefore markets that are of regular order that's that's one of the big ones that no one wants to get and I love that last there's the last one homie who talked about get your money out of New York this was this is something there's something that he was put like saying and also not saying in a way. Well, what there's more to like what would you build? What would you have there? What would you Well, at some point you have issues of like this is the kind of place that there's banks that hold gold bullion there. Think about that. If you know that the FBI had to be sued because the FBI just raided a bunch of... Some bank had some kind of problems with it. They raided all of the safety deposit boxes and kept everything. And everyone had to sue to get their stuff back from the FBI. So that, and then you get the, the recent decision made about Trump. You have bullion in the basement of a bank someplace in New York, in Manhattan. Because that's where bullion banks are concentrated. One of the concentration points of bullion banks. Do you keep your bullion in New York fucking state? <laughs> when you're that rich, or do you listen to the guy who just told you, we're moving you should too and <laughs> you take it to fucking Florida I mean that yeah there's no fixing this there's no fixing this and that's 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 what's popping there's 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 no fixing it and uh and and the people who are prepared for the future um 
future will belong to them. Who? Boy, it's brisk today. Oh, I got it. I got it. I got stuff. All right, I'll talk to you later.